today we are going to see about the data types in Oracle. Okay, see, uh, we already use some of the components in this. I mean, some of the data types in this number data type we already know the character data type. So, use the char is the data type for that. Okay, see, take uh, any one of the table, take this employee table only. Okay, so we don't have any data in this and uh, so how we created the table so you can describe this table that will get to know what are the data type we have and all those things okay see implied number you mentioned like a number of four right so now i am trying to insert the data into this column insert into emp implied number values so now I am trying to insert one, two, three. One, two, three in this. And I'm trying to insert one, two, three, four also. Because I mentioned like a number of four, it allows up to four digits of number. Okay. And now I'm trying to insert null. I'm not inserting any value here. Simply, I'm inserting uh, it's a null. And uh, okay, now I'm trying to insert uh, one, two, three, four, five. See, it is giving the error for you. Value larger than specified uh, precision for precision allowed for this column. See. Precision in the sense integer value. See, 99.12. See, this 99, we can call it as an integer. This we can call it as a decimal, right? See, in the Oracle, we'll call it as a 99 as a precision, and uh, this 12 is as a scale. This is the precision value. This is the scale value. Okay, precision and scale. So, precision in the sense integer value, actual integer, what is the actual integer we have that we can call it as a precision. This is like a decimal, we can call it as a this. Okay. Now, now, see, now we are storing this value like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is giving the error. See, the error is, you mentioned number of, you mentioned simply number of 4 for this employee number call right so it allows one character or zero characters to up to four characters it allows okay now if you are trying to insert greater than that particular size you will get the error value larger than specified this part okay now i am trying to see now i am trying to using some function in this select Length is the function R select star from EMP. So now I haven't committed it actually. So now I'm committing it in blind number. I'm using some function. Length is the function. Length of implied number. See now. It counting the number of values or number of characters in this given column. See, employee number you are passing here, or you can use uh, the select star from dual. So, see, first you can understand about this table. Okay, dual is the table which is a predefined table by the Varaki. So, Varakil is provided one of the uh, predefined table to do the calculations. In mathematical, we can able to do 2 plus 3, right? If you do this, you will get the, you will get the 5. But you cannot able to run this command, particular command here. See, unknown command beginning. See, you are not able to do any calculations directly here. So if you want to do any calculations or if you want to do any functions, I mean, if you want to call any functions or if you want to use the functions, we'll use the most of the places, we'll use the dual table. 
it's a system defined table which is used to perform the calculations or to do the function calling function executions that i will explain you in the function class so for now we are using the dual is the table it's a predefined table to do the calculations that's what you can remember for now okay now see now i'm using length of 1234 it is giving like a we have four characters now it is displaying like four now i'm mentioning five it is giving the it is give, counting the number of characters in this as a string okay so now you are passing this as a 1234 as a numerical value but it treating like as a character value that because length function it treat like as a character values okay i will let you know about this see now now if you want to mention the size 1 to sorry space 1 2 3 space 4 5 6 so now you cannot able to count or the, the length of these characters okay see in this case you need to use the single quotations single quotations so because the number data type you can able to insert how you are doing the normally 1 2 3 like this while inserting the data into the employee table see now you are inserting this value directly 1 2 3 like this right now i am doing the same operation for the employee name column okay See now I'm mentioning a in this column. See employee name column. I'm going to insert a is the value for this. So one of the employee I'm going to insert a is the value for this. See now you are getting the error. Now you are getting the error. Column not allowed here. Column not allowed here. See the meaning. so what are the thing you are mentioning you are mentioning like i say employee name this character so but you haven't make it as see while inserting of the data into the character values of any column that column values must and should we need to maintain in the single quotations if the data type is a character or uh, character data type that values you must and should maintain in the single quotations okay now see it allows the value okay now it is allowing to the values see what the error it is giving actually see how the system is understanding if you mention a only employee name but see now see see it is giving the error for you column not allowed here see the varakil can understand what are the value you mentioned in this value list this is the column is part of the employee table so maybe i cannot able to use this type of operation in this value list okay so in the value list you need to provide only values not the column not the columns so that's the reason it is giving the error column not allowed here you cannot able to mention this in the value list okay so for that reason a is also treating like as a a is also treating like as a column of the employee table so the system does not know right if you return the valid syntax or valid values then only the system can validate the so what are the columns we have in this particular employee table so the syntax itself it is having the error so it is giving the error for you so column not allowed here okay now now i mention simply in the single quotations a already inserted a right i am inserting ab now and i am inserting abc abcd okay fine right now we inserted the few of the values and committed this
I committed as well. Now see, now I am employee number, employee name also I am returning. Employee name. Okay, now see, now I am getting like a A, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, right? See, in this case, you are getting like a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you are getting the actual count like here we have the three characters. It is getting 3, 4, 4. Here we don't have any character. You are getting like a null. Okay. See, now I am doing the same operation for this length function of length of e name. See, now see, here you inserted only one value a, but it is saying like a 10 characters it having. Now you inserted two characters in this particular e name column. Now the system is giving like a 10 characters in this field. A, B, C, 3, but it is giving 10. A, B, C, D, again 10. Now I am inserting like a more than up to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, I, J. Now I inserted up to 9 characters or 10 characters. Okay. So now I am trying to insert 11 digits of characters. I mean 11 characters. See then E name, whatever the E name you are going to insert, that it is having actually 11 characters or 11 digits. Maximum it allows only 10 bytes or 10 characters. So it is giving very clear error for you. Value too large for this column. HR is a schema name or owner name. See in, in HR schema, in the EMP table of uh, Employee name column is having the error now. It is giving the out of range values you are going to insert. Okay. Now you inserted this. Now it is having the trouble. Right. Now you are having the trouble because. Now see. If you are using like a one character, if you are using two, if you are using three, if you are using ten characters also. It is utilizing the maximum memory 10 bytes, right? See now, for that reason, this is having the trouble or problem in this. It is unnecessarily wasting the memory. It is unnecessarily wasting the memory. See, to, to see, here we are using char of 10, right? See, whatever the size you mentioned here, it is taking all the memory are all the bytes of all the bytes of memory in the values right now see to overcome this problem so how how much i'm using so that much only you need to calculate you no need to calculate or you no need to waste that particular memory you no need to waste the particular memory so in such place so the varakil has introduced the var cap 2 data type for this see here we have the character data type and var cap 2 data type right see now this is the reason you are uh, wasting the memory you are wasting the memory unnecessarily for that reason varakel has introduced the var cap 2 data type var cap 2 data type see it, the var cap 2 data types allows numbers characters and special characters the same the character data type and var cat to data type both are the same see it allows uh, alpha numerical characters okay so meaning it allows the number values and character values and the special characters and date values also and date values also see the definition it is having a fixed length of character data See, fixed length of character data of length of size, which we declared at the creation time. See, while creating of this table, what is the size I mentioned? That's what I'm going to use. If you are using less than that, or if you are using the maximum also, I'm using the total memory in this particular column. Okay. See, now, instead of instead of that so try to manage with the varcat 2 data type see this also works the same functionality 
OK, everything will same, but. It act like as a variable length data type. It's a variable length data type, meaning see how much you are using, how many characters you are using here, how many character you are using in this particular column. So that only that much memory only it will occupy. See that much memory only it occupy. See some example with the normal table. See not only with the EMP table, so you can see with this. See any doubt, please stop me from there and we can uh, uh, think if it required to do any other things for that. See now I'm going to create with the car of one and the T2 table with the car of 2000. And I'm not mentioning any size for this now. And I'm inserting the values into this. Setting to T1. So the size already you know if you insert T1 of values. So if you want to insert the character values, you need to maintain in the single quotations. Now one row got inserted and verify it in this. So you inserted the C1 value A and V size. See the length function is calculate the number of uh, characters or number of uh, values in this. Okay, how many characters we have in this particular column that count the number of characters. But V size, V size is the function. It gives the how much memory you are utilizing to store this particular value in the bracket. So if you want to store the A letter in the Varaki, so I'm going to utilize the memory, one byte of memory in the Varaki. A is one character. It is counting the length function. If you want to store the A in the Varaki, I'm using the one byte of memory to store this A letter or A character. Okay, batch 14 is your username. T1 is the table name. C1 is the column for this. So C1 column in the T2, T1 table is having the data, data size issue. That you need to be understand. Okay, now I'm inserting with the T2. I mentioned the T2 of care of 2000 to 1000. Is inserting the values. Okay. Now inserted this T2 values and committed this and uh, verifying the things in T2. See, it is wasting the memory like a T2 table. So it is wasting the memory. You can verify in this. Two thousand bytes, two thousand bytes to store the only two characters of data in the Varaki. If we are using the, if you are using the care of two thousand of size, so for that reason, it is unnecessarily wasting the memory, the with the maximum size. So what is doing the character data type with this remaining one, the so one nine nine eight bytes. So one nine nine eight bytes. So you can verify simply. Simply copy these values and paste it in Notepad plus plus. You can understand very clearly. Starting some semicolon and ending it. I'm pressing like a a s d s right. So now I'm copying from that digits and pasting it into it. See now you will get to know the things like this. So where is that uh, single quotations? It came into the end. See here we have that particular single quotation. See this many characters we have. The column it is showing see 2000. You are in the 2000 column. You are in now 2000 column. 
okay see it is filling with the blank values it is filling with the blank space it is filling with blank space so as much you see if you want to understand this difference of uh, character and where care to data type so if you the family is having like so if you have two chains of any parent so one parent is having uh, two chains okay see the parent has provided 100 rupees for each member so each member and uh, to go to the movie okay see the member is uh, member one or son one okay so he went for the both went for the same uh, movie and uh, the movie ticket is the 50 rupees the transportation is uh, uh, 15 15 30 okay totally 80 rupees necessary uh, uh, it's mandatory to go to the movie the rest 20 rupees is for the expensive other expensive if it is not mandatory you can able to give it back to your parent so if it is a mandatory you can utilize that if it is not mandatory it is not mandatory right the wasting of memory in the um, like break time okay for cool drink or any snacks okay see the first one the first son one is doing the waste of the memory with that 20 rupees uh, purchasing of any snacks or kind okay the other person see our family is in trouble i am going to uh, give this money back for to the my parent right see the parent uh, happy with this uh, second person second son not with first son because he is doing unnecessary wasting of money wasting of money right see to work on that problem in the varakil so varakil has introduced the varkat to data type as a second son just like as a second son of third parent okay see here see if you are uh, if you don't have any other uh, uh, you have some limitations here you can able to maximum you can able to spend up to 2000 bytes you cannot able to spend limitation for you the son one he can able to uh, if someone asking the credit from the shop uh, if someone uh, son one came to here you can provide the uh, credit up to 2000 characters only not more than that if you are trying to ask more than that if you are trying to ask more than that 2001 rupee see now it give the error for you it give the error for you say specified length too long for its data type specified length too long for the sun one Sun one, treat like as a sun one. Okay. Now, if you mention like a var care two, so simply I'm changing this as a var care. Var care two, treat like as a sun two. Now, it is allowing to spend more than the one second. It is allowing to spend the more than two thousand rupees. See, for his also having some limitations, support the limitation like uh, 4,000 up to 4,000. Now, I'm dropping this. Now, I'm creating up to 4,000 characters without any trouble. Now, if I drop, I mean, I am trying to create with uh, more than uh, 4,000 rupees. Okay, now I am asking like the son two is also trying to ask more than his limitations. Now he will get the error. Specified length too long for its data type. See, one is the either it may be a greater than two thousand or greater than four thousand. The same same error it is giving for the both errors. Okay, this is the error for you. You will get in the number data type. Sorry. Uh, character data type okay see now see we are able to create this table and you are however you see about this uh, space unwanted spaces it is occupying in the character data type. you can verify in the var to data type now 
instead of t1 table now i'm making as a sorry okay so now i'm mentioning with the two columns with the character data type and var cat to data type var cat to data type so now i'm mentioning the t1 table c see you haven't seen this type of errors in the yesterday's class in the data types uh, sorry in the commands class see now i am trying to create the table t1 with duplicate column name c1 is the column here and another column also i am maintaining with same column c1 it is giving the error duplicate column name found duplicate column name found you cannot able to provide the same name in this particular table now now the table got created okay now i am trying to create c2 the var cap 2 of 20 see here also i am mentioning same instead of 2000 i am mentioning simply 20 Now I'm dropping the T3 table. T3. The T3 is not required. So we will see the difference with these two. Okay. And now I'm inserting the same values. Insert into. Insert into T1 values. T1 values. I'm inserting the A. Let's same A. Now one row got inserted. And I'm trying to check the size of this. How much memory it is occupying for the both. C1. See, you mentioned for storing the one letter, it is taking the, if it is a character or var, var 2 also, it is taking the same length and as well as the memory also. Okay. So, whereas in the, whereas in the T2 table, see now the T2 table you mentioned, char of 20, var 2 of 20. Okay. Now, I am trying to insert the same values into T2 table with the same values, with single character now i'm mentioning with the uh, ab ab for this two okay now check instead of checking with the t1 check with t2 table see here the c1 is having see this much length because the c1 values has filled with the blank values out of 20 characters you use only one byte of character or one byte of memory. The 19 bytes of memory is filled with the blank space. Blank space. So here you use two bytes. The remaining 18 bytes has been filled with blank space. Okay, you can check with this. V size is the memory to save this particular A character. A B also it is taking 20 bytes length. But A B in this case. Varka 2 data type. This is the Varka 2 data type. In this case, it is occupying with only one byte of memory. Here, it is occupying length also, it is showing the only one. But whereas in the AB, it is showing two bytes, length also two. Factor data type and Varka 2 data type is, you got it right? Please, someone respond actually. Uh, yes, Shiva. Okay. See now, so I completely forget about this uh, number data type. See if you want to store the in the varakil, if you want to store the index or in the other data types, I am going to explain. 
in the other languages in the other languages if you want to store the integer values we'll use the integer data type as a separate if you want to store the decimal values we'll use the float data type for this either c or java kind okay so i know the c so in the c we have integer data type to store the integer values if you want to store the decimals we'll use float or decimal data type like that okay now i'm dropping this and i'm trying to create this c1 as a in data type and c2 column with the number data type but data type and dropping and recreating it to see the difference of int and number data type okay, now they describe this table See, for C1, you mentioned uh, int is a data type, right? See, in the last class, I explained if you mention the int also, Oracle can understand. See, the user is trying to insert as a number data type, but mistakenly he put as an integer. So, I can able to convert this data type to the number data type. So, Oracle have the future. It implicitly converting the data type from integer to the number data type. See, now you make it automatically converted to the, I said, uh, the number data type maximum, it allows uh, 38 characters or uh, 38 digits. So it is taking the maximum size in this case. Okay. Now, in this case, C2, you mentioned simply number. It is occupying the same as a number. If you mention the size, it will take that particular size. In this case, you haven't mentioned the size. So it will take up to 38 digits of things. So you can verify it here. Number data type, it allows only the numerical values. It maximum it takes up to 38 digits, right? See so precision P, it allows how many digits to store as a precision. Scale S. It decide the how many decimal points I need to store. Okay, see here. To store the integer value you are giving, see, you can insert the integer value. Insert into T1 values. So 1 comma 1. Okay, you inserted this. I'm inserting 1.5 comma 1.5. I committed it, so I can retrieve the data in this select stuff. See now, see, in the integer data type, it automatically changing to the integer only. If it is a 1.5 case, it is stored to the 1.5 it is rounding the value to the if it is a value 0 0.5 below then it becoming like as a 0 if it is a 0 0.5 and above you can make it as a 1 right the same functionality is applying here so it need to be apply for this number data type as well but uh, how it is happening here i'm not uh, uh, understanding in this see definitely this also need to be this also need to be as a Two only value should be two only because you haven't mentioned the uh, precision and scale as a separately so if you haven't mentioned the precision and scale values the system can understand as a precision else you can uh, make it as a different way one second huh? this, uh, this is not required i thought i'm i'm removing this for now number data type of two i mentioned See, now I'm trying to insert 11 and 11.55, uh, 11.599. I inserted these values for and committed it. You can verify. 
See, now you inserted the 11, 11.55, 11.59. See here, the values is automatically converting to the, uh, automatically rounding the value to the next integer value. So you are able to store only integer values. You are not at all able to store any decimal values in this number data type for now. Because you mentioned only the precision values, the syntax of the data type, the syntax of the data type. See here, number of 5 comma 2. This is the 5 is the actual size. In this out of five characters, you are going to allocating the two characters for the decimal. So out of five, you are dedicatedly allocating the two characters for the decimal. The remaining uh, out of five, if you remove like two characters, we have three bytes. So the remaining uh, three bytes for the integer values. So if you mention like five comma two, it allows the maximum hundred or like uh, triple nine dot nine nine triple nine dot nine nine see we can uh, store this now now you are uh, you are mentioning like this p2 number of pi comma two okay now I created the same table and I'm inserting the same values in both columns. C1 column is number of two and C2 number of five comma two. Okay, five comma two. See now inserting the same values. 11.45. This also 11.45. And thirteen, thirteen. See now I see now I stored the values eleven, eleven point four five, eleven point six, thirteen. See if you it is the eleven point six. The C2 is becoming like I said 12 because it is adding like a 11.5 above if you have right. So it is making as a 12. 11.45 is less than the 0 0.5. It is rounding to the 11. And 13 is the actual integer. It is storing as an actual integer 13. See now, now you can verify this. The precision and scale value issue. Now in this 13 so i said 5 comma 2 so i suppose to you may treat like i say 5 is the actual length of this number data term. so you can try to insert 1 2 3 4 5 characters now we will get the error so value larger than a specified precision allowed for this column allowed for this column because it is giving the error if you mentioned like uh, one, two, three, four dot five also. Now it is also giving the same error, right? Because out of five characters, I'm dedicatedly allocating, allocating the two characters for the decimals. So we have only three digits to store the integer values. So you cannot able to store like this. One, two, three dot four, five. See, now it is allowing to insert the values. Now you can verify it. 1, 2, 3, dot 4, 5. It is storing the same, what are the values you are inserting? It is storing the same values here. Okay. So if you want to store the only integer values, simply mention number of the size. If you want to store integer values along with the decimal values you need to mention the data type in this particular format or this particular syntax okay this five is the precision out of this precision you need to how many characters you need to allow as a decimal that you need to mention it okay this is about the number data type and character data type we done
and we'll see the date data types. And we'll see the date data types. So I left with uh, one of the other data type we have in this var cap, var cap, var cap. So I will explain once you practice with this, I will explain about var cap data type in the later classes. Okay, see, simply if you mentioned var cap data type also, now I'm dropping this table and recreating it. See, I'm mentioning here C2 as a var care of one, right? Now see, now I'm trying to create this table and describe this table for understanding buttons. ESC even. See, you mentioned var care as a data type, but the oracle is implicitly converting to the var care to data type. How integer data type is converting to the number data type? The same way, if you mention the varchar data type also, Oracle will implicitly converting to the varchar to data type for that. Okay. <coughs> that also you need to remember, and we'll do the practice with that later classes. Okay. Some people will lost the difference between character data type and varchar to data type. Okay. Or some people will ask care and where care also. So that's the reason I explained now. Okay, now we'll see about the date data types for me. Date. See, date also we have two types. If you want to store only date, we'll use the date data type. If you want to store the date along with time, we'll use the timestamp data type. Okay, see now, we'll see this date data type. So data data type is used to store the date values. It's a fixed length data type. So if you mention varchar two of 2000, it stores the 2000 bytes of memory. If you mention that varchar two of 4000, it stores 4000 bytes. But you don't have option to store the date size, to mention the date size or date length, because it's a fixed length data and time. Okay, so whatever the date you are mentioning, like DD, MM, YY, so it's stored in the particular date format and it takes only the size for all the dates, only one size for all the date values. Okay, ranging from, so while storing of the data, so you need to follow this particular range only. So, so before crease, after crease. So before crease in the sense, so uh, the fourth generation, after crease in the sense, future generation. So before 4,712 years back to the future, uh, up to 4,712, the future date in between whatever the date you can able to provide that you can provide and you can check it okay so maximum it will take seven bytes of uh, uh, memory for to store the date values okay so default default date format is a string format see how we are storing the date uh, character values so while providing the character data type values into the column same way if you want to store the date values the date values also you need to mention in the single quotations into into single quotations okay so you can you can change this you can create the table and store the date values Now I created the table with joining date as a date values. And now, now I'm trying to insert the date into this my system. Insert into P1 values. C2 
see, I said if you haven't mentioned the see column not allowed here. So if you haven't mentioned the single quotations, the system can treat like I said, this is the column. So to give the clear idea to the oracle, you need to mention in this way. So this is the date values the system can understand. See, everybody will won't follow the same uh, date format, right? Some people will follow the different date format. So now I don't want to mention the John. I'm mentioning like 0101. See, now it is giving the error for you. Not a valid month. Not a valid month. See, now in this case, if you want to, if you want to, so the system cannot able to understand what is the date values or what the format we have in the server. What the format we have in the server. See now simply use select sys date from the data. See sys date is the function. This will give like a what is the data in the server now. So our server is like a this 621 pm is the our local uh, uh, local laptop uh, uh, timing so our laptop is the server for us now right so now it give the 621 for us so it is not giving the, it is giving only the date here right it is giving only date now if you want to if you want to know the time as well use the timestamp data type right so the same you can mention uh, sys time stamp. Sys time stamp. See it is giving the clear uh, clear message for you. Date 4 October 22, 622.23 milliseconds also it is giving. So you are in the Kolkata zone. So 5 plus 530 is the Kolkata zone. Uh, Chennai Kolkata zone. This is the time zone. Okay. So now, now, now we are uh, unable to store these date values in this particular format. So now you need to know the what is the format we have in the existing format in the system that you need to be aware of this. Then only you can able to follow the insertion. So this format is having DD, MON, YY, but I don't want to provide in your format. I need to follow my own format in such case i can use one of the function to underscore date is the function and now i'm giving the idea to the system or one okay this is the zero one is the dd and another zero one is the month sorry mm mm and two zero two one is the year simply now see it is able to insert we can able to insert the any form you can change this you can mention simply 13 but it give the error for you because 13 month we don't have so it is giving the error not a valid month right now i'm changing with uh, mm mm and dd to this now see now i change the month as a date the date as a month but just i change the date format here what are the date format is required for me and i change it as a this right so two underscore date is the function which is used to convert the date values to understand as a bracket that's it Okay. Yeah. So this is about the date data type and you can verify it how much size it is taking and all those things you can verify how you verify it in this particular column size length V size and length is the functions to verify the things very clearly. Okay. Now we'll see about the timestamp now we'll see about the timestamp so i'm changing and uh, dropping this table 
crop English table. And I'm uh, mentioning simply time stamp is the data type. Now I'm trying to insert the same values into this. Now oh, verify it. Just so you inserted only the date. See, in the earlier in the date uh, data type, you inserted the same value 01 Jan 2021, but it's stored in the respective order in the respective uh, values only it's stored. It haven't stored any timestamp. See, whereas in the timestamp data type, you are uh, trying to store only date values, but the system is storing. So what is the starting day of this uh, time? 12 a.m. is the starting day, right? So for that reason, it is storing the 12 a.m. is the hour and hours, milliseconds and everything, minutes, seconds, everything it is displaying here. OK. See now. Now I don't want to mention this as well, like size, uh, what we can say. So here, see, instead of providing like a two underscore date, we'll use it two underscore time stamp. Two underscore timestamp. So this function uh, will convert the date to the timestamp or timestamp to the one one format to the another format kind. Okay, 0, 01, 13, 21. Right. So now see if you insert the value this. It is not giving any error for you. You can verify it. You haven't mentioned the time in this case. So that's the reason it is not mentioning it. Now I'm mentioning simply 70, 17, 30, and 0, 5. So simply I'm mentioning the MMDD YY. HH24. MI. Yes, yes. You can mention your own format as per your need. See 530, you mentioned 1730. So 24 hours format, but it is storing in the 12 hours format. Okay, so date and time, uh, timestamp, sorry. Date will help us to store the date values and uh, timestamp will help us to store the date along with the time. This is about the date values and uh, time stamp also. You can try to provide the. You can you can able to provide the length of this data type also timestamp to I'm mentioning simply. I'm trying to insert the values. What is happening and everything you can observe. No difference. But you can able to provide the length of the timestamp data type. But we won't we won't mention any time or uh, length of the timestamp data. Okay. So this is about the data types, important data types. What are the things we are using on the daily basis? Okay. So now we have other data types as well. Other data types. Long data type. So I'm going to close another max 10 minutes, not more than that. OK, so now see. Long data type. See, long data type will help us to store like a uh, up to 2 GB of data or 2 GB of uh, values. See. You cannot able to store beyond the 4000 bytes of data in any one of the column. In any one of the column because character data type having a maximum 2000 bytes and varchar 2 is having the maximum size up to 4000 bytes right so now you for as of now you can able to store only 4000 bytes as a maximum data in one column if you want to store more than the 4000 characters of data in any one of the column in any one of the table so you cannot able to store more than 4000 characters of the data because the maximum limit is the that 
in 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 that situation in that situation we'll go with the lab data types first lab so lab data types so the lab data types will help us to store more than 4000 bytes of data We can able to store more than 4000 bytes of data. So it is giving the error. See, large data type. So large object. So large objects of data types we have to store the character values. We'll use the C law. If you want to store the images or files, we'll use the B law. I will explain. For now, we'll see the character format, C law. Now see the table has been created. So you can able to insert more than 4000 bytes of data in this particular column. If you want, you can check it. If you uh, copy the data from the Google and paste it and do practice with it. So simply you mention like a C log is a data type which help us to store more than 4000 bytes of memory in the column. Okay. Lab. See, it is used to store huge amount of information up to 4 GB of data. Okay. So then we have B lab data types. Same in the lab data types, we have C lab, B lab, B file. See here, it is used to store images but not in the format of binary format. So how we are storing the images in the Facebook and all those things. The same way you can able to display your picture on the, uh, your picture on the Varaki. Okay. If we use the B lab is a data type that help us B lab or B file. B lab or B file will help us to store the images and as well as the files. <coughs> B file will help us to store the images and as well as the files also. Okay, then we have NC law. It is used to store multi languages or Unicode format. See, if you now you are inserting the data in this particular, if it is a uh, timestamp, right? It is uh, adding the hours and minutes by default as a day starting time and every right. If you if you mention the uni see unicode format unicode format in the sense see if we use nc log national uh, uh, character large object it allows any type of language any type of language and store them the respective word so you cannot able to store other than the english letters in the varaki actually in case if you use the nc lab as a data type you can able to store uh, chinese language also Chinese language information as well in the Varaki. See, you cannot able to copy the things from the Google and you cannot able to paste it in the uh, Varaki uh, SQL developer here. You cannot able to paste the uh, things in this particular place. Because, because if you want to test that information, you can load the data through the files. Then you can able to understand about the NC lab advantage. Okay, this is about the lab data type and where we have the long data type and as well as the raw data type. See, raw data type, it is used to store the images. The B file and raw data type will do the similar quality of the data, uh, same functionality of the data. Okay, see, so where we need to store the information beyond 4000 characters, you may go with C log and you may go with the long data types. Okay, it is used to store the information up to 2 GB of data. See, but there is some limitation in this long data type. Limitation are uh, um, only one column we can uh, use entire the table. Enter the table. See, now you cannot able to create uh, or it is long. 
Okay, now I'm trying to create the table with long data type. So for one column, it is creating, right? Now I'm dropping this and I'm creating with two columns. C1. C2 long. See, it is giving the error for you. A table may contain only one column of type of long. So you cannot able to create more than one long data type columns in a table in a table, but you can able to create a lot of data types more than one. See lab. See, it is not giving any trouble. It is not giving any issue for you. You can able to create more than one thing also. So this is about the data types and uh, I'm going to share this document. And we'll see the things by tomorrow and give me uh, like wait for five minutes if you have any doubts uh, holding this line or you can drop off if you don't have any doubts